all of those post-match interviews. And there must be one or two things that maybe just either rang alarm bells or, or made you smile. Yeah, the, I guess my favourite interview of the weekend was Neil Cox at Scunthorpe. Um, he's basically, there's a change of strategy at Scunthorpe now. You've got a lot of young players. They got Wallop 5-0 at home to Cambridge. And they've got a lot of young players. And basically, Cox emerged from a dressing room that was at loggerheads with each other, that he said, this, the, the, the trouble is, it was a, very much a, a Gen X millennial type dynamic going on, that these young kids can't take criticism. And, you know, you can't go old school on them because, they, you know, they, they spit the dummy out and take it too personally. And it, it seemed like he was about to tear into his players and then thought better of it and thought, right, let's just have this conversation on Monday because I don't think you're man enough to take it now, what I want to say to you. And, you know, it basically, and it sounded like almost as if the thing he said to the players that really set them off was, you're never going to be Premier League players if you can't, you know, if you can't dig in there when you're facing adversity and you go one and two nil down at home, if you can't just, you know, if you haven't got that strength of character, you're never going to be Premier League players. And it was almost as if that lit the blue touch paper of saying you'll never, you know, you, you kill you kill some young player's dream of ever reaching the Premier League, it's the worst thing you can say. And that seemed to be what I meant. And it was a very interesting interview because it's, he's, he's been chosen for the fact that he's a Scunthorpe lad. And mm. he came through the ranks at Scunthorpe as a kid. And he's been given this mission of, you know, here's your big chance in management. Now step out of the shadows as assistant to Neil Adley. Now you're a manager. And I want you to bring through these young players because we've got to do things on the cheap because of COVID and the way that the, the club's got to be run now. So here's your chance in management. We want you to bring through these kids and bring through a load of kids like you were that can then go and play at the top level having come through the ranks at Scunthorpe. But already, you know, we're a couple of months in or a month in and we're having this clash of generations in terms of, you know, and he's very much... He strikes me as a people person, Cox, from, from what I gathered in his early interviews. He's very much about trying to get in touch with players, which I think was probably helped him understand to take a step back and not tear into the players at that point and, and just let's delay this conversation for when we're all calm. Um, but, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to see what develops. And I think Scunthorpe are a team. I, I'm curious to see how those players respond in the coming games and... and how it works out for Cox with those young players because, you know, yeah, it, it, it was a fascinating interview. It was a fascinating interview because he, he was, he seemed short of answers, but in a, a very honest way, you know, not like it, it, he's, you know, it's not like he's gone in with his eyes shut and it's not like he's, you know, he's blind to, he's very aware of what the situation is. It's a generational thing and he, you know, he needs to get to the bottom of it and he needs to, him and his players to get on the same page of, what he expects from them, if, if they're going to have the futures that they want, then, you know, these are the certain non-negotiables that I need from you.